Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and thanks for clicking on this video. So a couple weeks ago, I released my Honda Africa Twin mod video. And since then, I've had a ton of questions about how much my bike weighs now with all the additional gear on it. So today I'm gonna show you how to weigh your adventure bike just using a regular scale. Let's get into it. Okay, so what I have here is two shipping scales. They are both rated for 440 pounds a piece or 200 kilograms. These scales are pretty nice because one, they're pretty inexpensive. They're accurate down to the half ounce and you can switch between pounds, kilograms, or pounds and ounces. For this demonstration, we're just gonna show pounds. Now I can hear the skepticism right now from you guys thinking that there's no way this is gonna work if you put the front wheel here and the back wheel here and you add them together that it's gonna add up correctly. Let me just prove to you that this works. So right here I have a 15 pound dumbbell and when I set this on the scale, I get 15 pounds exactly. So that shows that, that, is, that this scale is accurate. I got 7.55 pounds here and 7.45 pounds here. You add those together and that is 15 pounds. Now with all that being said, that proves that if I put the entire weight of the motorcycle on both of these scales, that will give me the accurate weight of my motorcycle. Now this can also be done with just one scale. I could put the motorcycle on the front, the front wheel on this scale and not use the back scale, see what the weight is, then move this scale to the back wheel only, see what that weight is, and add those two together. And that would also give us an accurate measurement. It's just more work. So this is the reason why I have the two scales. I can roll the bike on there, see what it weighs by adding the two together, and that will give me my total weight. So I'll bring the Africa Twin in here and I'll just show you how this works. Okay, so this is how I have my bike set up right now. It is virtually how I would ride it on any day-to-day -day trip. The tank is full of gas. I've got all my, uh, tool, my I've got two tubes here. I've got my tire changing gear in this one. I've got my tool kit in my tank bag. This bike is basically it's we'll call it it's fighting weight right it is about as heavy as it's going to be on a normal day-to-day -day trip i don't have the camel tank filled up in the rear but i do have the main tank completely full i just filled up earlier so this bike is is basically what its weight would be we'll call it its curb weight of what it's going to be on the day-to-day -day drive and uh i've got the bike sitting on a piece of wood in the back a piece of wood in the front and i'm simply just going to roll it onto the scales balance it as good as I can vertically, and that will give us our weight. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the bike standing vertically on the wood, get the kickstand out of the way. Now, when I'm balancing this bike on the scales, I'm gonna basically just balance it with my fingertips. You can see here, I mean, I'm doing it with just barely any pressure at all, and uh, that should give us a pretty accurate measurement. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna roll the bike forward, get it on the scales, and you'll see here in this other camera what our, our weights are gonna be. Roll it forward gently. So I am at 280 in the rear, 273 in the front. So 280 in the rear, 273 in the front. We'll add those weights together and that'll give us our total weight of the bike. All right guys, so adding those two weights together, that gives us 553 pounds. That's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be uh, when I first weighed the bike because um, I figured with all the extra gear that I've added, it was gonna be, it was gonna be up there closer to 600 pounds. Uh, so it's actually pretty surprising that it's not as much as I thought it would be. Um, I have done a lot of things to cut weight on this bike like the exhaust and a lithium ion battery and stuff like that, but I just didn't honestly think it would be that much uh, of, of a weight difference. So uh, this bike stock weighs 511 pounds off the showroom floor, just the curb weight, no added extras or anything on it. Now, when you compare this bike to any other bike in its class, even with added, all, even with all the added weight, it's actually very competitive. The R1200 GS, R1250 GS, those are both in the mid 500s. Uh, the uh, GSA is damn near 600 pounds. I think it's 591. That's before you add anything to it. No crash bars, anything like that. So. For the, the 553 pounds that this bike is, it's not as bad as what you would think it would be. And really the weight, most of the weight is all low, so you really don't feel it when you're moving, when the bike is moving. 
So again, just to put this in perspective, similar bikes in the same category from the same year, the R1200 GS is 532 pounds, while the BMW GSA is a whopping 594 pounds. Again, these don't include any additional options. The Super Tenere is between 597 and 604 pounds, and the KTM 1190 is about 530 pounds. And once again, that's before any other options are added, straight stock off the showroom floor. Now, I know what you're thinking. What about when I add luggage to this bike? What about the weight then? Now again, this whole point of this video was to weigh the bike as its curb weight, what it currently weighs on its everyday, day-to-day -day riding. But let's talk about adding luggage. So when I add the luggage to this bike, one of the main reasons that I use the round of the world, the round the world panniers is because both of them together with the uh, quick release mounts that go onto the racks weigh only 13 pounds. One of my aluminum panniers weighs 13 pounds. So I get both bags empty is the same weight as just one of the bags that would go on to one side. That's the biggest reason why I use them. Two is, in my opinion, for safety, because those are more pliable. If you get your leg caught underneath there, it's not gonna cause as much damage. So whenever I put bags on, um, the biggest thing that I try to do is keep the weight down as much as possible. Not only down low, but also just keep the overall weight down. And I can easily go on a two week trip with only 50 pounds of gear. That's camera gear, everything that I bring with me. That's not including my tools and stuff that's already included in the weight of the bike. That's just my luggage, my camping gear, my kitchen gear, my clothing, camera gear, all that stuff in, in the panniers. Um, I like to keep that under 50 pounds. So that being said, adding that 50 pounds to the 553 pound weight of the bike puts me right about 600 pounds. Whenever you're on your longer trips, it does, it does make a lot of sense to try to carry as least amount of weight as possible and have your, uh, your weight as low as possible just so the bike will function and perform the way that it's designed to perform when it's off-road. All right, guys, thanks again so much for watching this video. I really hope it helps you out if you are just curious on how to weigh your motorcycle or if it answers the question on how much my bike weighs. Um, we got that taken care of. I will put a link in the description for these um, scales if you're interested in picking up some for yourself. Again, you don't have to buy two. One would work just fine if you're trying to just find the weight of your bike. It's just a little bit more work and a little bit more moving around required to get the actual weight. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you know when new videos are released. Also, make sure and join me on Thursdays for Thirsty Thursday, where I review tons of gear and answer any of you guys' questions that you might have. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.